Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and today, if this beer was made in France, I believe it would be called a Menage à Trois. So the beer we're going to be trying today is Fort George's 2019 three-way IPA Citra. This beer comes in at a 7.2% ABV, a unavailable IBU. It gets an average rating on untapped of 4.22. Three-way IPA 2019 combines all the fruit forwardness of a hazy, but with that classic touch of bitterness you find in a West Coast IPA. The result is a bright citra fruit bomb that doesn't finish too heavy or sweet and it doesn't hold back on any of the hops. As an added layer to this year's collaboration, the dominant dry hop will rotate throughout the three-way IPA season. You'll be able to see which hop is dominant by checking the bottom of the can. This year's release of three-way IPA is a collaboration between Fort George, Ruse Brewing, and Cloudburst Brewing. All right, so let's try this beer. Right away, it's hazy, but I don't know, it's not quite as hazy as I was expecting. Kind of has like a green aura around it. Uh, really white head. Rocky, fluffy, marshmallowy, whatever you want to call it. It's actually more marshmallowy. Ooh, that's got a nice aroma to it. Ooh, citra. Citra. Yeah, you like citra hops, you're going to like this. Hmm, hmm. Okay, hey, whoa. You taste like a citra peel at the end. It's nice. It's got this like citra forward aroma and really, really citra forward like front taste. Kind of goes directly into sweet. There's this weird middle, which is probably the other hops, and then a little bit of an acid burn. Just a little bit, so it's not too bad. Not super thick in the body, which I would really wish just a little bit more body. It's not quite thin, but not quite meaty either right in that middle area which i think for this amount of flavor i really wish it was just a bit meatier still good what were the uh what were the other the other uh, hops so we got citra cashmere and idaho seven that's it that's that's the one idaho seven seems to be for me in particular kind of a an, an interesting hit or miss and majority of the time most breweries miss the flavor it's um dirt it tastes like dirt to me everyone has their own opinion and so there you go so fort george's three-way ipa 2019 citra hop dominant this is a fresh can canned 52419 extremely fresh there are some good things about this beer and there are not so good things about this beer this can art is great the can aroma is phenomenal after you pour this beer and you smell the can it smells like I just grabbed a bunch of hops and just it's a phenomenal smell. The beer, on the other hand, still smells good, but not as good as that. Uh, you get more of a citrusy maltiness from that glass than the can, which is interesting. The upfront flavor of this beer, very marshmallowy silkiness with a citrus hop, and then you get this malt, and then all of a sudden this weird flavor starts kicking in in the middle, and then there's this acid burn actually after it's warmed up it wasn't really there the first couple of sips but now that it's warmed up it's really kind of burny i'm not trying to bash this beer this is a good beer if you like that new england style super citrusy pick one of these up it's gonna get you what you want what i really love is fort george always releases this beer and it's a collaboration with different breweries all the time and they're always really trying to push the limits of all of their beers do i think this is the best one no do i think this is good yes i do do i think the idea of giving different variations of it i really like that idea and i'm interested into trying the other two this one 
I thought though would probably be the best because of I'm a big Citra hop guy. I remember when that first came out and that was a great Northwest hop flavor. I get that the front end, but I'm not enjoying the acid burn of it. Is it still a good beer? Yes, it is. It's still a good beer. So if you are in the Northwest area, try picking one of these up. Uh, actually, pick a couple up because they're great for drinking, they're great for having fresh, and they're great for trading. Cheers, guys. <coughs> Whew. There's acid burn just in the burping. That's not a good sign. <coughs> Teary up. At least the burp smells good. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Untapped, Twitter, Facebook, the big social media stuff. The links for those will be at the very bottom of the description. Leave a comment or two whether you like this review, whether you didn't like this review, how I talk about this, how I didn't talk enough about this. It takes me too long to talk about this type of stuff. Let me know. Uh, I'm gonna give you a thumbs up. Maybe you do the return. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? Yeah. Yeah. See you guys.